Oh, now in turn, this, this just looks beautiful. This is what people should see when they come to our zoo. I mean, sure, it's not exactly like fish in a fish tank, but it's running water. And sometimes people need that, that sense of sound, that sense of connection, so they can remember, oh yeah, these creatures, they're inside water all the time. Kind of like when they go over to our beluga show and get absolutely splashed by the belugas. You know, you gotta remember, oh yeah, the animals get wet here too all the time. But it looks absolutely amazing. Holy moly days. Look at that. Look at the way it looks with the sun rising. Oh, wow. That's just beautiful. Oh, I love being here. Do you know how nice it is to wake up every day and know that you get to work with all these gorgeous creatures and the tremendously broken pathing? Oh, good grief. I need to... I'm gonna fix this, but not right now, because in turn I have super exciting news. Oh, the ammonite's sick! Alright, let's go grab our ammonite scrubbing toothbrushes and take care of them. Alright, come here little guys. Eh, eh. Come here, ammonite. Alright, let's jump in and take care of these guys while I tell you about the exciting news. We received another grant! It's very exciting! It's a brand new grant and it's actually very aptly for you guys! All you prehistoric little swimmers! No, Crypto, I don't want to swim with you right now. Take room Ammonite 5. Ammonite 5 is also sick. We have to remember, these Ammonites need scrub a dub dubbed on a regular basis. How's the food? Do you have enough food, Crypto? Oh, what a beautiful... I mean, look at it. Oh, Ammonite 2. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's replenish this with fish. Ammonite 2, not now. Dang it. I didn't want to swim with you. Hi, Crypto. Look at that. Look at that belly. Look at that beautiful head. Oh, I need to research more about those guys so we can talk about them sometime soon. Let's clean their water. Good. Zookeeper's on this. I think that should be all the Ammonites. Oh, there's one down here. How are you doing, Ammonite 6? There's some more shellfish for you to eat. Let's see. Clean the water again. But yeah, actually, on the note of taking care of these guys, we have received another grant. I'm very excited about it. No, Nessie, I don't want to swim with you. Not right now. Your tank is really simple. We really we really better, uh, like, expand it. Except, speaking of expanding their tanks, that's what I'm trying to say. We got a grant so that we can get in some more prehistoric animals. In this case, it is going to be uh, Hybotus, uh, one of the aquatic ones. And we're going to be able to revamp the entire area. Uh, oh, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. The entire zone for our prehistoric aquatic animals now. Remember how that's our goal? This is going to be our prehistoric animal hall. We're going to change this entire thing into different degrees of prehistoric just aquatic animals. It's going to be amazing. That's why we have our little lizards, so that we can come right over here and have our prehistoric animals. Should be pretty fun. I'm very excited. We might move this little food food zone into here, like make a little food court right here. I think that'd be pretty good because I want to move or perhaps, I don't know, people have a lot of fun with that. Her. The prehistoric hall, the cave painting hall, needs to come over here so it's next to the prehistoric stuff. So we might play around here with this, but this is going to become our prehistoric hallway. It's going to be really beautiful. Also the dolphins on the other side. Our dolphins are breeding like mad. It is absolutely amazing at how Allison and Flipper the Turtle Stalker's children have just spread everywhere. I've actually been thinking about closing down pretty much all the shows except for theirs and one of the belugas retiring the otters uh redoing all of this up here too with some new new pathing new stuff going on up here now that we have access to the grants life has just gotten so much easier but the question is we build the prehistoric hall and what do we do with the whales ironically that is where most of the grant money is going to end up going we have to move our whales and we're going to be moving our whales over here Let's see, I also need to move the compost building. So we're going to move the compost building over here in this little alcove. But yes, our whales need to scoot because this is the eventual zone we want to put our whales. And we have several more species of whale that I'm not... Not for taking the whales from the wild, that's not what we do. But there are a few injured ones that are unable to be released. And we can start breeding programs. Uh, 
Though I really hate to separate mom and baby. But we'll figure those, those hurdles out when we get there. And then over here, we still have to do our coastal little island set. So we'll get to that as well. But we need to basically move our whales so we can have our prehistoric water hallway. And that's going to be what we're going to work on right now, in turn. You're going to help me plan that out because we do have Knight. He is super lonely. I would love to see about getting him a mate sometime soon. We still have Duchess as well. Um, yeah, let's see. This should be good. I'm thinking we might break the hallway up. Mm, like one, two, three different exhibits. And we'll put the different animals in different exhibits. Uh, cohabitate them with what animals they may be cohabitated with. But our whales, hmm, need huge exhibits. So I'm thinking we might just start by lining this area. It's going to be very expensive, I know that. But it'll be it'll be totally worth it. So let's start. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to do, let's see, should we do the wooden or let's do concrete tank. We're going to do a concrete tank wall. And I think we're just going to carry it all the way over. This grant money hopefully will stretch far enough that we can do this. So we want to line this right here. There we go. And then, because I figure I'll just... This is deep enough for the whales right here. I mean, it's, it needs to be huge so that the whales can have the zones that they need. Pull it back out. And here. Kind of a skinny little, skinny little viewing zone. I really hope we're doing this right in turn. I put some thought into it, but really it's just one of those things you have to jump right into. Get your feet wet. And I think we'll be able to have enough money left over to like totally revamp this area. So that makes me very excited. So the point is we're going to move Duchess in here. I think it'll give her a much more comfortable a uh, much more comfortable exhibit and enclosure because she won't have to have this narrow swimming area anymore. She'll have more of a broad open swimming area that she can work her way through. Alright, let's come over here. And I think yeah we probably want to add a little more depth. Alright in turn we're going to siphon out hundreds of tons of sand so that we can make this a little bit deeper for her. There we go. Which reminds me, we probably actually want to cause this to raise up a little bit for the kind of animals that we're going to be putting in here. Alright, and then these were very expensive rocks, so we're just going to have the movers move them for the sake of our animals. That's Duchess. We don't want to move her yet. She did look like a rock for our poor helicopter uh, pilots who are trying to get our rocks for us. All right, come on. Come on. There we go. Large rocks. Move these. Pork Knight. I was really hoping Lady would stick around, but we weren't able to get him to breed in time to keep her. Maybe if we have enough money left over, we can ask if that's okay to spend it on. But that, no, that's the problem. Grant money has to be specifically spent on the stuff that you agreed to do. That's how you get your grant money revoked. That's how you get into a lot of legal trouble. So when someone writes to us... Oh, I haven't read you the note either. Do you want to see the note for it? All right, all right, one second. Hem, hem. Dear Zookeeper Siri, my company, Eden Global, is dedicated to bringing back lost species. One of our most recent creations is a prehistoric shark known as Hybotus. It is common knowledge that you have worked with prehistoric animals in other zoos as well. As in your current one, we would be happy for you to adopt a breeding pair of these marine animals. And in doing so, we would like to offer you a grant of $50,000 to cover the cost of the exhibit. We believe that Hybotus spent its time in deep water, so if the exhibit could be covered, it would possibly suit it better. Also, use of plant like also as for use of plant life in the tank, it has been suggested that Hypotus prefers large kelp forest. So a reasonably sized tank with appropriate kelp would be preferable, though not necessary. You are the curator after all. As for money left over from the donations, you may use it as you please. Oh good, maybe we can get Knight a new girl. 
Eden Global would like to apologize for the shipping fee that comes with Hybotus. Hopefully, the grant should cover that as well. We look forward to potentially working together in the future. Eden Global, protecting the present, reliving the past. Oh, I love it. I love it. They're a new company, up, up and coming. They've actually gotten a lot of attention because, I mean, there have been people who have been reconstructing DNA and building dinosaurs for years now. But these guys, these guys are doing it in the most efficient like professional manner that you could really imagine. I've been quite impressed with what they're doing. It's definitely not fumbling around in a lab with dusty fossil boxes and petri dishes the way that I did back when I was in my dino lab. You know, I had another offer to go out to a mysterious island where they're working on uh, some of the new cutting edge, new technology dinosaur breeding activities. So I might pick that up. Something about something park operation something uh, we'll have to we'll have to see how things go how things all line up was that a floating duran what the heck was that what are you an empty jar with fish just floating in our tank that was quite odd dolphins did you kick your jar with fish all the way over there Ugh, they are so silly sometimes all right almost have this all lined up so that we can swap out the animals that go in here. But I'm so excited! There should be enough money left over that we can do the covers. We can draw, like cover all this up. That was the goal. Make this a food court. Draw our cave over here. And actually I have an idea of what we can replace over here too. Because people really seem to love these little walkways. So I have an idea of what we can put over there as well. Alright, let's draw this over here. There we go. I'm gonna need to get more rocks, but that's not priority number one. All right, deep sea coral. Actually, we can leave a few for the Hybotus, which I think, Ammonites or Hybotus? I think Hybotus is actually gonna have a star spot right here. Split, Ammonites, uh, split, and then we'll put our Nessies, as everyone loves to call them. Duchess Starling, you're going to move over here. And we're gonna move the kelp bed over here. Now, where'd Knight go? I thought he was sleeping under the kelp bed. Did we move him when we moved the kelp bed just then? All right, and let's make sure we move the zooplankton. Ah, where did Knight go? He blends in so well, sometimes it's hard to find him. All right, we're gonna have to refill these, make sure that we put in, grab that, where was zooplankton? Put that over there. Have to get these all in place. All right, let's put this over here. Oh, and the bubbler. Knight does love his bubbler. If I can just get my hands on it. There we go. Where did he go? Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Where is he? I always hate misplacing our animals. It makes me... Lime? Lemon? Beth? Blue? What is going on here? Why did none of my my like zookeepers tell me that we had crated animals? Oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. And somebody needs some mega attention. Someone someone's not feeling well. Man, intern, this is this is why running a big zoo can be a little bit of a headache sometimes. Do okay over here. Okay. Come on. Um on head shark, bull shark, duchess, knight. Where are you, knight? Or green sea turtles. There he is. Knight, I could have... Ugh, he just blends in so perfectly. There you go. There you go, Knight. Alright. So now we've got that all prepared. Good, good. Let's go ahead and split. In fact, let's go ahead... And this is a little kooky, but I know the animals will be better for it. And replace... That's fine. Every wall along the back of here because it is it is a see-through wall and we want our animals to have a little more sense of privacy. It makes them feel more secure. It makes the tanks look nicer. There we go. Oops. I'm going to be very careful here in turn. Be very careful with our little sledgehammer. That's all right. There. All right. Now let's come back through here. Now we're going to put down just a plain concrete wall. There we go. See how tidy that looks compared? Alright, and then the Hybotus. He's gonna kinda be 
a bit of the star of our show, but they're not very like large, large either. So we'll give him this much space, I think. And he can be the, the king of the prehistoric area. Is that enough space? Let me examine. Hmm. Hmm. Because they're not too large, but you know what? I don't think that's enough space. We're going to add more space. I think he and the Ammonites can get along, but I'm not sure. I think that he might try and them. That's better. It gives him a little more elbow room over here. And that actually means... Whoops. Drink. There we go. You know what? We might just let our Ammonites and our, our Nessies, as everyone loves to call them, play together in this tank, after all, since they've been together for so long now. So that'll work. Oh man, I'm getting really excited. This is really gonna work. Oh, don't you just love it when things come together like this in turn? All right, now let's see. Next up, we need to deck their tank out so that it has everything that they need. Let's see. Hmm, where is my research information on these little guys? I mean, I remember I pulled it out and I looked up quite a bit when we were first considering getting them. But then I turned it down. I ended up picking one of the other species. But I know I have my research information about them somewhere. It's just a matter of finding it. Let me see. New. And over there. How? Oh. I was just looking at it. I know for a fact. Well, you know, I'm still grateful that the days of having to sort through so- Ooh, what is this? A little bluegrass guppy. Oh, that would be so cute. It'd be so cute to add to our little Caspian exhibit. Oh, not right now. Not right now. Gotta focus. This new guy comes first. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. No. I know you're here somewhere in the world of things that have lived and things that will live again. Good grief. Also, there's a lot of new fish. I'm very excited about that. I mean, look at all these guys. The Siamese tigerfish. Well, a long time ago, we had an awesome comment by one of our, our regular guests who said that we should build sort of a marine exhibit at the front instead of the plants so that people can walk past a bunch of fish. And I wasn't sure how we could pull that off, but now I know. We're going to pull it off by using all those fish. So that will be something that we're going to work on. There you are! I knew you were somewhere. Work on coming up pretty soon. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, we want to get these large rocks in here. In fact, I think we'll get one of the nice $400 rocks in just a little bit. Kind of put it right there. Okay, put that there. By combining rocks, you can actually make it look like a larger rock. Kind of a nifty little thing to do. There's that. And then, just kind of tuck in, tuck in a few rocks here and there. And, any, any others? I think that'll be okay, actually. And deep sea coral. Some sargass weed. You can sprinkle some deep sea coral kind of in a few spots. But I am grateful that we're going to be able to put in a nice large kelp forest for these guys. Perhaps, like some purists will say that that's not how it really was. But I don't think that they're going to mind if they have a little bit of kelp to kind of burrow their heads into. So there we go, giant kelp. Let's bring you- oh, besides, we have some gorgeous strains of giant kelp around here. Oh, look at this. I mean, just look at how beautiful that is. There we go. And there, and we'll just kind of let the forest come this way, but then stop over here so people can kind of see when he swims out over here. What's going on? Those are weeds. Those are things that go on right there. Alright, we're gonna make sure you've got some squid. That'll be good for you. And some shellfish that are just gonna hang out down at the bottom. So we're gonna sprinkle a couple things of shellfish down here. Yeah, that should be good. 
All right, and then let's see. For having some, we'll put in a whole bunch of live fish as well for entertainment and to, to kind of decorate the area. Good. All right, so let's put in a couple really large rocks. A place for our zookeeper to pop on in. And then I think that at least the internal part of the exhibit may be pretty much completed. So let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, I always love that kind. Ooh, look at that. Oh, so lovely. And then look at these. I mean, these rocks are just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Just kind of like a giant rock formation in the back. And hopefully, anything else? I don't think we really want to add, because it's a deep, deep sea, anything else. So that should be good. All right. And next up, let's go ahead and we're going to put a female. And a male. And there we go. There you go, guys. I have a few animals that I need to really take care of in just a second. But let's take a quick peek at seeing how these guys look in our zoo. Oh, look at all their little playfish. Oh, look at them go. Oh. Oh, look. Wow, you guys are so beautiful. Oh, yeah. I think they're going to like it. Let's hop in with them. Check how they're doing since they are fresh arrivals to our zoo. All right. Ooh, I think somebody just jumped for a fish. Oh, look at them. Wow. I'm loving these. Oh, look at those teeth. Look at this guy. He just looks totally awesome. And we've got one swimming in the background there. Oh, this, this is beautiful. This is wonderful, intern. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much to Eden Global. I'm going to have to write them a wonderful note. And we've got plenty left over to make this a truly prehistoric wonder area. All right, I'm going to take care of some of our other animals that need attention. And then you go ahead and get lunch because I think it's just a small thing with the crates and the dino, hopefully. And I'll text you if it's not, okay? So keep your cell phone on you, go get some lunch, and then we will be back here to move our other animals over into this tank and see about getting Knight, a girlfriend, and expanding the whale viewing area over here. So I'll see you back here in a little bit, intern. Bye-bye!